Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone rule, we have been a great example to the younger brothers in the truth, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. And Lord willing, this be edifying, man. You know, and it's just a, um, a, a little video from Vice TV. And this something I was looking for. I've been looking for it for the longest. And it finally popped back up on my Facebook page. You know, because I seen it before I came to the truth. You know, but basically, <laughs> it's an a incident of a slavery in modern time, man. In the 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, man. You know, Jake explained how he was a slave, basically a slave in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, man. Him and his folks and, and other families, man. You know, just showing you that, <laughs> hey, it's probably still people in in America, Babylon the Great, no, who are, are, are in hardcore bondage somewhere in the damn bushes somewhere, man, in rural areas, man. This go to show you, man. Yeah, I ain't saying it is. I'm just saying it could be, man. Just how it was back then. Slavery was supposed to be uh, illegal, but guess what? <laughs> they pulled it off, man. You know, freedom to slaves. Let's play this. Um, this this a video. Let's play it. You know. Yeah, let's play it. Let's. Well, I read this precept first. This Ezekiel. Chapter 35, and I'm going to start at 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And let's see who Mount Seir is. This Genesis chapter 36 and verse 8. It say, Thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of of the Edomites, Edomites in Mount Seir. You know, so Esau, Edom is Mount Seir. When you see Mount Seir, that's a a, a, a buzzword, you know, for uh, Esau, Edom, man. It's a... So like it. This is Ezekiel 30. I'm watching uh, a video at the same time. It's so like it. Ezekiel 35 and verse um, 2 again. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. Yeah, against these Edomites. And say unto it, Thus said of Yahweh power. Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. And I will scratch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste. Yeah, America, France, Germany, Spain, Portugal, all that shit, you know? Whatever I didn't name, man. Russia, Turkey, all that shit finna get laid down, man. You know? And, and most definitely America, Babylon the Great, man. You know, all those other places, they're going to get flattened, you know, but the Lord going to, you know, ain't going to destroy those lands completely. But America, oh, shit. This bitch finna get turned to a desert, man, because this the hub of Edomites in America, Babylon the Great. It say, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Verse 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time, this is the point right here, in the time of their calamities, in the time that their iniquity had an end, thus said, therefore, as I live of said of Yahweh power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, said of thou, sit, sit, since thou has not hated blood, blood even shall pursue thee. You know, now let's play this video. Most of us think that the end of the Civil War in 1865 closed the chapter on slavery in the American South. But that's that. far from the truth. Over the next 100 years, 
Most of us think that the end of the Civil War in 1865 closed the chapter on slavery in the American South, but that's far from the truth. Over the next 100 years, generations of black Southerners. And if I can add, the Emancipation Proclamation, all that means is the transfer of, transfer of ownership, man. You know, that's all it means. Were forced to labor against their will. This new form of slavery happened in the shadows of the first half of the 20th century. And even though civil rights movement- It was a form of slavery that happened in the shadows <laughs> of the beginning of the first 20th century, man. You know? So while they were marching and doing all that old goofy shit, doing Martin Luther King and um, Malcolm X and all these motherfuckers who posted been and rose up and, and, and the presidents who you done voted for and you love so dear, but it was still slavery going on in America, man. You know? We still in the land of our fucking captivity, man. You people can't get that through your head, man. And you Biden, Trump. Biden is the last hope. Kamala had. Man, look. Woe to them that run to Egypt for help. And you people trusting in this system that's fucking broken, man. You trust in oppression, man. The Lord is finna give you over to your your worst fears, man. And rightfully so, man. You people deserve it, man. And began advancing racial equality in the South in the 1950s. These practices continued secretly, making it a difficult history to prove. We lived on, I don't know what would you call it, but something like a plantation to me. It belonged to several different white people. They all were family, I guess. And it, you couldn't leave, and if you did leave, they either come get you or or have somebody kill you, or whatever, whatever. That's what that, that's what happened. They did my mama bad. What they do to your mother? They just would have my mother, you know, the white men, you know. That. You shall the scriptures say you shall marry roughly paraphrasing the curse. You shall uh, get a wife, and another man shall lie down with him, man. You know. They ain't gonna have no mercy, man. These devils don't give a damn, man. You should begat a wife and another man shall lie with her. And he say they had they way with, with, with his mama, man. You know? They they just do what they want to do with her. And uh I just wasn't big enough to do nothing. If I would have been, I don't know, probably wouldn't be. And this was in the 1950s or 40s? That was only through the 40s, in the 50s, all through the 50s, in part of the 60s. So what were the repercussions? As he says, through the 40s through 60s, and you people hollering, Democrat, Republican, let's go through the list through the 40s, uh, through 40s and 60s. You know, what, what, what presidents were in office during the beginning of the 40s. Uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Democrat Party, from 1933 to 1945. He ain't do nothing about this, you know. He So you mean to tell me the Edomites just, you know, they, ain't give a, they don't give a damn about nothing like that. As long as you don't get caught, but they like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Hair, hair. Harry S. Truman, Democrat Party, from 1945 to 1953. You had a man and his parents and other so-called black people were in slavery during the time of these Democrat um, uh, presidents after, uh, after the damn slavery was supposed to have an end, man. You know, still in slavery, man. And who was president president <laughs> during the forties, all the way to the fifties? Two Democrats. All right, now it's the white, the white D. Eisenhower. He was a Republican from nineteen fifty three to nineteen sixty one. Then right after him came. John F. Kennedy, and he was a Democrat, man. But did, did John F. Kennedy go and, like, look, 
Y'all gotta stop this shit. No, there ain't no slave. No, this man say he and he say he was they was still slaves through the some of the sixties, man. You know, Democrats, man. More majority of them was Democrats. While this man was a slave from nineteen the forties on through to the part through the sixties, man. And this um Lyndon B. Johnson. And he was a president from 1963 to 1969. And he was a Democrat, man. So you people trusting in these fucking people, these damn devils voting for them. This your last hope and this and that. But look what was going on during the time. It was people in slavery while Democrat Party was running running the damn country. But, you know. Hey, it probably still is. Joe Biden, the president, now Kamala, it's probably people in rural areas still got damn slaves, man, and indenture servants and shit, man. Basically getting treated like fucking slaves, man. In 2020, man, still to this day, under the radar, just like they traffic dope and do all that shit under the radar, it's the same fucking thing. You think in a, I, I honestly believe it's people probably in certain places in rural areas like this dude is still fucking slaves, man. In the South and in the North, man. It'd be if you tried to leave or if you tried to refuse what they wanted. Back in them days, it's, 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 it was kind of like you had to do what the white man said. Or... And who was president during them time? They go to show you that these people don't give a damn about you. Majority of the time, where well, this man was suffering, slavering him and his people and other families who was on the same basic plantation as them, was suffering slavery and fucking Democrats was in office. They go to show you that them motherfuckers don't kill me. You know? I get killed. My dad is uncle. He made him dig a grave and killed him. <laughs> the what? They killed him and buried him in his own grave. Gary Dawson, they killed him. He lived right in the same place we lived at home. He left. This numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood and defile of the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. You know? So, hey, and, and this is a law towards the Israelites, but Esau took this book and made uh, the Bible the law of the land. They, they, they declare that they the Christians. They feel like they this and they that. So the Lord is going to judge their ass according to this book, man. The same book they stole and used against the you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, Lord's chosen people, they going to be judged by that same book, man. <laughs> you know? And the Lord ain't going to have mercy on them because they ain't show no mercy, man. You know? Ezekiel 35 and verse 5, it say, Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword, and the time of their calamity, and the time that their iniquity had an end, man. You know, the scriptures say they were supposed to loose the yoke from off our neck. They ain't had no, they probably had chains and shackles on these people, but they still had them basically to the point where if you do this or you do that, you're going to be put to death, man. You know? We gonna have you killed, man. So they ain't need sh chains and, and, and shackles. They had their minds, man. You know. And say so he wasn't coming back. They wouldn't got him. Bought him back. Get him right down there from his house. Kill him. Hung him up in a tree. They hung him. They killed him first. Casterized him and hung him up right from his house where his children nobody could see him. Were you aware that? Killed the man, hung him up in the, killed him first, castrated him, and hung him up in the tree. And, and hung him up in front of his house so all his children, all they can see him. For the Obadiah verse, uh, chapter 11, I mean, Obadiah chapter 1 is only one chapter. In verse 10, for the violence, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, man. So for the violence against your brother Jacob, shame is finna cover you people, man. And you're going to be cut off forever, man. And we don't want to hear, oh, that was our forefathers. That was this and that. Isaiah chapter 
14 and verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their father that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fear the face of the world with cities. From for I will rise up against them, said of Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, the son, and the nephew. The Lord is going to utterly destroy you Edomites, man. You know, and Babylon is a miracle. But ultimately, all you Edomites are going to be done away with, pursuing to Obadiah, man. Let's go back there. Let's go back there. This Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. The northern and the southern, um, yeah, the southern and the northern kingdom. Jacob is the, Jacob is all Israel, but, you know, we can say that that's a representative of the southern kingdom. But ultimately, it's all of Israel. And the house of Joseph, that's Ephraim on down, the northern kingdom, the so-called Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American, uh, Indian, Seminole Indian, those people. You know, that's Joseph, the northern and the southern kingdom. But ultimately, all the Israelites. A flame in the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall be no, not any, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh have spoken it. You know, so it ain't going to be no remaining of the house of Esau. The Lord is going to utterly destroy these people, man. You know, once they finish building up the kingdom and the Lord seems fit to do away with them, man. This is 1940s, 1950s that... insane um arthur this is this is this breaks my heart to hear this story um and he talking like he free nigga you still the slave you just wasn't a slave like him man because we all are still slaves even us who we know we israelites and this and that we got to get our ass up and work for these devils we still slave we still here in america Got to go and pay taxes and all these different... We, we still slaves, man. This Exodus 21 and 16. And he that sell, stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hands, he shall surely be put to death, man. You know? So <laughs> you still a man and you be found... We still found in the hands of these Edomites here in America, man. You know? U.S. citizens, man. You know? Got to work and, and, and do this and that here in America, Babylon the Great. So guess what? You shall surely be put to death for this, man. You know? Growing up, did you, were you fully aware? This is in the 40s and 50s. You know, the civil rights movement is just about to begin. Were you aware of what was going on in the rest of the country at that time for black people pursuing freedom? No. You, had, you weren't aware at all that this was there was any pursuits for freedom in the 40s and 50s. And, and you you niggas weren't pursuing no goddamn freedom. Uh, 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 you was free, supposedly. You had the Emancipation Proclamation, so this dude don't know what he's talking about. You was already free. You weren't pursuing freedom. You was running behind Martin Luther King pursuing um to be equal with the devil, man. You weren't pursuing freedom. You was already free. You had communities. You had this. You had that. You weren't pursuing freedom. It was, it was free. Dude, you, you was let out of, out of chains for the most part, man. You know? Uh, the, the, the civil rights movement was to have the same rights as the so-called white man. That wasn't free. That wasn't pursuing freedom, man. That's what pursuing to be e equal to the, the damn devil, man. What you... Uh, are above him, man. You know, you pursuing to be equal to him, and you above. Uh, you you uh, pursuing to abase yourself to the basis of men during the forties, fifties, and the sixties, man. Not to be free. You were freed out of those out of those chains, man. You know, cause the, the only way you gonna be free, and you, the scripture tell you, know ye the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Of course, we need to be delivered out of this devil's hands, but mentally, man, you know, mentally, 
they weren't pr- pr- pursuing to be mentally free from 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 the hands, you know, I mean from the mindset of being slaves. The scriptures still tell you not. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he on um, spoiled, man? Our people are a fucking still in that slave mentality, man. And they're going to be destroyed for it, man. For us. No, not really. Not really, because I think maybe like in 65, 66, then he was doing that marching. You know, that's when I really. Yeah, marching for civil rights, basically equal rights to be equal to the white man. Little white boys and little white girls going to play and do this and do that. That's what they was marching for. They weren't marching for uh, 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 freedom. They were marching for equality, man. I want to sit in the front of the bus, too, with the white man type shit. That's what the fuck was going on. I want to go to his school. I want to drink out of his water fountain. I want to eat at his restaurants. That's what they was doing during that time, man. Now, people are scared to talk about it. it, it it's people right now, y'all go to talk to you. You won't talk with y'all about this, you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're scared to do it. They got their fear in them, uh huh. How could something like this happen? A lot of these places that was in very isolated rural areas, it was easy. I mean, you had the opportunity to ride through some of these areas and you saw for miles and miles, there's absolutely nothing. You think like, how can somebody not just escape these type of conditions? And once you actually are out here, you see there is nothing but cotton fields and crops and long strips of road where, where can you fathomably go? It's insane to see how you can be trapped on this land on so many different levels, whether it be economically, physically, and, and even mentally. And that's pretty much the point. How did slavery survive the South? This Jeremiah chapter 50 in verse 33, thus said of Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. All that took them captive, held them fast, and refused to let them go. <laughs> and we still in the hands of these devils. And they refused to let us go, man. This revelation, matter of fact, let me see. Verse, I'm going to stay back in Jeremiah 50 and verse 34. Therefore, I mean, their Redeemer is strong. Yahweh of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause that that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, said of Yahweh, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon their princes, and upon their wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dope. A sword is upon the mighty men, and they shall be dismayed, afraid, you know, because this destruction is going to be a great one, man. This is Re- uh, Revelation 13 and 9. He that, ever he-, he that have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth, on uh, verse 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. You know, so Lord willing, this was edify- edifying. I want to end it giving infinite honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone rule where have been a great example to the younger brothers and the truth. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. With that, I want to end it giving, um, I want to say, Shavuon, Kwam Yashala, and the Baba Baal, man. You know, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This devil is being revealed. You know, ain't no telling what's going to happen. In these times to come, 2021 is going to be off the charts. <laughs> you know, we still got to get through November. You know, still got to get through December. You know, so we still got two months in 2020, the year of prophecy. And we'll be in 2021, man. Time is flying, man. So repent. Uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Shalom.